The guys bought their 1940s house a while ago and took around two years to bring it up to date. Keen to keep the arty, eclectic style of the old Joburg neighborhood they're in, they gave greatest expression to their own aesthetic inside. So welcome to my home. What an entrance, Kat. Thank you so much. I think it's a combination of everything we love. When we travel, it is great to always find little pieces to bring home with you. This dragon over here we got on our latest trip to Bali and Vicky just completely had to have it. And I really love just the combination of different parts of the world and bringing it into one little house in South Africa. A unifying factor is Gert's interest in the ancient Chinese art of arranging spaces to harmonize people with their surroundings. I love Feng Shui because I I think it gives a, a space a beautiful energy with the red doors to the fountain at the back there with the koi fish. This mosaic also looks exquisite here. Thank you. The mosaic's actually Mexican. I love the bright popping blue of the Mexican culture and then offset against the terracotta and the pops of yellow. It brings all the colors together and me being a fashion designer, obsessed with color, Vicky, my husband, having such a great eye for just interiors and color, we make a perfect combination when it comes to deciding what we want in our home. Vicky's influence has been taking pieces they've bought over the years and curating them into looks and installations. Hey Jade, how are you doing? Good, thanks and you? Great, thanks. How would you say the house reflects your different personalities? Well, Gert is more modern than me and I like the more eclectic, more museum curated, interesting look. With such different styles, were there ever times where you disagreed or wanted to compromise? I think it's about collaborating. For instance, when we put the fireplace in, I wanted something practical for winter because I think in Joburg we're not geared up for winter. And this is such a lovely little piece in the house, but it's not the prettiest thing in the house. So our compromise there was put to put this beautiful kind of silver backdrop to it that also protects the wall and kind of makes it more of a statement piece. And in summer, we just put some pot plants on it and it works as well. So that was one of the great compromises that we had to strike. Also, we love a little bit of an offbeat style. For example, that piece of art behind you, that was done by Casper de Vries. And it's a little offbeat, almost a juxtaposition to the royal theme of our table and chairs over here. So somehow we make things just work and fit together. And I think the practicality of a house is very important. We love to entertain. We love to have extravagant dinner parties with decor that's so over the top. And a round table works well for us. And, and that is what I enjoy about the house. Is it is our personalities, but it's also practical and user-friendly when we entertain. Your living area makes such a statement. What was the inspiration? Well, that's an interesting story, actually. Um, Gert went away to New York for a month, and everything was kind of bland and neutral, and I got bored, so I started playing with color. I got the couches recovered, I had the wall painted, got the bright carpet, and when you returned home, everything was different and bright all of a sudden. Did you know? Did you I had no be? idea that this was happening because we were just finished renovating, so the house was in between spaces, and we hate beige. I think when I arrived back and I just saw all this color and the plants and the abundance of textures, I was just even more happy to be home. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to be something when someone walks into the space to take them out of the reality and just transport them to a different place. I was just thinking how all these pieces would make such great conversation. Yeah. They definitely are. And when, when we decorate, for instance, a chandelier on its own is a sculpture. It's not necessarily just a light fitting. As the living space is so textured, it just brings the eye up to the ceiling and makes the room look bigger. One of my favorite pieces is the old kimono kissed from the 1800s. When you got married and you moved out of your parents' house, you would pack your kimonos in the kist and the men would celebrate and they would carry it down the road to your husband's new house. My favorite piece in the house has to be this toy horse that is from the 1800s. We bought it on auction and the moment I saw it, it was just such a beautiful piece that reminded me of my own childhood. And I love how it has a bit of mystery and antique to it. And that is why being positioned in this golden like, chest, it just makes it so special. And what is the story behind this exquisite mural? For us, we wanted something punchy. We have all these beautiful appliances in the kitchen that has these pops of red, and Vicky wanted 
something to pick that up and bring the whole story together. And this stretchy cough is a favorite of ours. And also if you look at the colors in the painting as a whole, it fits in with the rest of the house. And we also carried a lot of the colors from this through into the house. You know guys, I actually don't feel like I'm in South Africa here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unique. We're taking you around the world. Yeah. <laughs> While Vicky shows you the bedroom, I'm gonna whip us up some low carb keto cookies. Sounds delicious. <laughs> we'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> As a place to relax in and quietly reflect on the day, this nature-inspired escape is Vicky's favorite room. I've noticed that you've got a nature theme that runs throughout the house and it's especially prominent in your bedroom. Yes, that's where we feel most comfortable is in nature, surrounded by plants, be it in physical plants or in decor, like the wallpaper for instance because it was in such close proximity of the bed and I didn't want to hang paintings or anything against it. So we just decided to go with this beautiful banana leaf wallpaper. And you'll also pick up florals and nature any, everywhere on the bed and even the carpet. When we moved into the house and revamped it, I decided not to put windows in the bedroom, but rather big open doors that leads onto this gorgeous lush courtyard with also all the tropical plants. In the shower, the shower is completely made out of glass with beautiful ferns next to it in its own courtyard. And you can also see your love for the Asian culture again in your room. Most of the bedroom you can see is Chinese antiques that's over 100 years old. Like one of my favorite pieces is this cupboard over here, the red Chinese cupboard. And what about your bed? These carvings look rather interesting. This bed was a birthday gift to me from one of my friends. So it's quite special to me because she knew I was looking for a four-poster bed and she got this one from Indonesia. Wow, you have some nice friends. <laughs> This outdoor lounge mixes Hat's preference for indoor spaces and Vicky's for outdoor living. As for the keto cookies... I love to work out, so I try and go once or twice a day, uh, depending on the day, and then I just eat very healthy. Because, you know, I love a low-carb, high-champagne diet, so you have to <laughs> keep it down in the gym. <laughs> It is so peaceful out here. I really love what you've done with the wall behind you as well. Yes, the wall was actually also a gift from one of our very good friends, Kevin. We sat out here one day for my birthday and I told him that I wanted to do something with this wall and I was not sure what. And he told me, leave it up to me, and this is what he came up with. I love it because I feel like it brings this whole space together in such a lovely way. And also, this space is so special to us because this coffee table is actually our very first coffee table that we bought just when we moved to Joburg. You two have created such a wonderful and unique space. What is your next move? Wow, the next move? Um, no, we just got our, or bought a new house mm. and we'll be moving early next year. So that's quite exciting. Mm. I think for many years it's been work and play together and we're at a point in our lives where we want space, we want to start a family, um, we want to just separate the two a little bit so that we can just also have our lives and not live at work. So your whole house is going to become your office? This whole house is going to become an office and I can't just wait to have brides in and out here and just living in the space that we created because this is part of the brand and this is part of our creativity as a couple. Well, thank you for having me. All the best. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. From the first painting Vicky bought for Het 15 years ago on his credit card to the completely curated home and now office, this house is their biography. 